back to the another episode of Flutter Weekly Widgets. Last week I could not uh, make any video because I was busy in uh, Flutter Study Jam and I had some other work as well. And uh, today I am available with another video because uh, um, I, I got some time this week now and uh, that's why I'm publishing this video. But uh, I will try to not talk about just one widget today we will talk about three widgets and th those are uh, three different widgets which can be helpful for you during your development and uh, I'm sure that you might not be aware of all those widgets and again sorry for the background noise because the dog is barking whenever I make this video I don't know how he knows that uh, I'm making a video but uh, that's what I, we cannot do anything for that okay so uh, we will start uh, and you can see we have this example 8 which is a state uh, stateless widget class and uh, my main is uh, uh, as you can see this main method has this example 8 as its home property so uh, and 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 uh, this is also a part of Flutter widgets uh, repository. So as you can see, I have aligned all the um, all these examples episode wise. So uh, it will be easy to find out, and uh, you can experiment with that. Okay. So now back back to the code. As you can see, there is nothing happening much. There's there's a scaffold with an app bar and with a title. Okay. So um, what I am going to do, I am going to add a body here, and in this center, let's say add a child and let's say a text and now i am naming it pawan and you can see we can see pawan on the uh, center but uh, this is not what we are going to talk about we are going to talk about uh, our first widget which is a placeholder widget so it kind of very helpful to use during development a placeholder widget is basically something which is denoting that we will add something to this particular screen and to this particular position later okay so this placeholder will actually be replaced by some another widget in the future so that is um, that is why we actually need this okay so let's just replace this text with a placeholder widget so as you can see this placeholder will take a fallback width height color and stroke width okay now this fallback width and height you will provide it when uh, there is a suppose there is an unbounded space okay otherwise it will take the um, default height and width so let's say um, our container is giving uh, a, um, giving him a full width and height so that's why it is it has taken all this space so this is how you can use the placeholder widget and there is as you can see uh, this uh, cross uh, sign you can say and this is just a representation that this is a placeholder widget now let's uh, say we want the color as red then you will uh, see red color now uh, even if uh, you want to give some height to it let's say um, so what you can do basically uh, let's say if you give here a height uh, let's say a width of 100 and a height of 100 then also you won't see any changes to this because you know there is no not an unbounded space the space is bounded so it will take the default uh, width and height which which whichever its container will provide or its parent container will provide so uh, if you want to see how it works then just uh, uh, wrap it with uh, another widget which we can say unconstrained box okay which is which will provide that unbounded space and now if you will see then uh, you can see it is taking now the fallback width and height which is again 100 now let's say if you want it to be a 200 okay then it will take that 200 height and width and uh, if let's say we have a container here then it will take the containers height obviously and let's uh, give this container height of 100 and a width of 100 then it will work accordingly and it will look good so you don't need that uh, if uh, the space is not unbounded okay so um this is how you can use this placeholder widget this kind of uh, widget can be very handful while your development so that you can provide some space if you want and uh, you can just uh, uh, say that you want to uh, let's say you want to have an image here in the future or something like that so this this is a kind of uh, handy widget and again it is a stateless widget so uh, all the widgets which, which we'll be talking about are stateless widgets so let's move to another widget uh, which is a uh, spacer widget okay i don't know whether you have heard about it earlier or not so what we are going to do 
let's replace this particular code from here like this yeah and in the child let's give it a row okay and row will have some children's as you know let's have some text here let's say text is um what we can say here let's say widget one okay and then let's have same text four times text two text three text four now if i will just refresh it you can see we have widget one widget two widget three widget four okay all are aligned like this you have something called main axis alignment by which uh, you can uh, make them space around or even let's say uh, you can say something like space between okay or you have something called space evenly so these are all things which you can do but let's say i just want that after widget uh, widget 1 and widget 2 should be on the left side then i want a space in between the whole screen and then i want widget 3 and widget 4 at the end of this row okay so how can i do that so you must be uh, must have heard about uh, uh, expanded widget by which you can expand it but it takes a child so there is another way of doing that that is a spacer widget so let's say after widget 2 what i can use i can directly use a spacer widget uh, it takes a flex it does not take a child or anything it has a key and a flex and the, that flex is by default one you can um, manipulate it if you want according to your need so let's say now i have used a spacer widget now you can see now my widget 1 and widget 2 are on the left side and widget 3 and widget 4 are on the right side and we have a space in between them let's say let's remove this widget 2 also then also you will see we have that space and uh, if i remove this widget 3 then also you will see we have that space and that is maintained by the spacer widget okay and uh, let's say suppose we have two spacer widgets after widget one we have something and after two widget we have something and after three we have something so as you can see this space now in between them is because of this spacer widget if i'll just remove this portion then you can see we will get that particular thing okay so um this is how you use a spacer widget but when you use a spacer widget make sure that uh, you don't you are not uh, about to use this main axis alignment because it will not work so let's say if i want to now do this space around then it will not work because uh, this spacer is making sure that it is taking the remaining uh, width of that particular row so that is the reason it will not work so this spacer again can be very handy if you want to use it let's say i want to give it a flex of two right now it does not make any sense but uh, let's say if you want to do it then you can use it so um, let's say we have another flex uh, spacer widget here then you will see the difference now it is taking one and now it this particular portion is taking twice of the, uh, uh, the space uh, according to this spacer okay so this is very handy widget and a very clean code you will see don't have to use an expandable because then again in the expandable you have to wrap it uh, you have to wrap the children with another row or column whatever you want to do so the spacer can also be very handful okay so now we will move to the third widget which is our visible widget okay so sometimes you don't want to uh, uh, someone asked me whether there's any widget which can help in just uh, uh, have that property of uh, android where we just uh, specify visibility as gone okay and it does not take that space anymore so this also can be done in uh, by using visible widget and we also have some other um, widgets which are actually facets of this particular widget which is a visible widget and it's it's kind of something which uh, let me just show you first and then we'll talk about it so let's wrap this text with another widget which is a visible widget okay and so basically the name is visibility not uh, just visible okay so this this is the visibility uh, okay and now as you can see nothing actually happened or you can say everything is same but now you get some flags like visible maintain animation maintain interactivity maintain semantics and all of for these are actually uh, a boolean value it takes a boolean value so by when we have this visible then we can make it false and now you will see that this actually removed that particular widget 
this is not actually doing that removal part but it is providing a zero sized box you can say or you can provide a replacement widget as well so uh, let's say if i want to provide a replace a replacement widget uh, widget uh, r then you can see you will see that widget r rather than having uh, visibility totally gone okay so this is how you can or actually replace it but um, it is advisable if you just want to make it uh, make visible false and if you don't want to show that widget in that particular area then it's better to not actually include it okay so what we could do let's say uh, we could take a boolean here which is saying that if it is true then only show that particular widget let's say text otherwise don't show it okay that's a much better approach rather than using this vis uh, visible visibility widgets or any other off stage widgets or something like that because they can be little bit expensive so this is how you can use this visible visibility widget sorry <laughs> and uh, and that that is the actually purpose so if you are dynamically changing it then maybe it can be expensive otherwise uh, you can use it if you want you can uh, if you want to animate it let's say let's say animation okay we have some problem here okay i don't know why this is happening let's try it again okay visibility should be true then it should work no. so this maintain animation is not working i don't know why okay so i don't know what's the purpose of that exactly but let's see if uh, that is what i am understanding it is right okay so if this property is true no ticker mode widget is used okay and uh, if it is false then maintain size must also be false okay so there are some other restrictions with this particular portion of the widget so you don't have actually have to use all of these i don't know what's actually the purpose of using that but because i went through this widget so uh, i just wanted to introduce you to and uh, if you want more update then you can uh, obviously uh, read the documentation where um, it is clearly mentioned what what the purpose of these widgets so these three all these three widgets are stateless widgets and if you want then you these these widgets can help you during development and uh, it can be handy or it can be it cannot be but i don't know whether you are going to use it or not but uh, it's better to know about these widgets because uh, maybe in future uh, this spacer and placeholder can be very effective and uh, it can help you for sure so this is all about this video and uh, I, I don't know whether uh, you will see more flutter weekly widgets episode in the future because uh, this is gonna be like and for season one you can say and uh, i'll be coming with more advanced video rather than you doing this flood of weekly widgets more but please uh, let me know your comments on this and what's your opinion about this flutter weekly widget series and uh, yeah that's that that will be very helpful and uh, again um please join the let's flutter facebook group if you have more questions because it is kind of a little uh, difficult to answer the questions here on youtube so it's better if you can ask your questions on um, facebook group or any other place like twitter so um I, my twitter handle is at the rate i am the pk and uh, the instagram handle is code poor underscore ka underscore superhero you can see all this detail in the description please join the group and uh, if you enjoyed the video like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber also press the bell icon if you want to get the future updates thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care